Hey, it's Chuck Mayer, Fishy Business. Welcome to another weekly update. We're out here getting ready to, to go inside and see what's come of the week. A couple things I wanted to go over with you. We have gotten a lot of used tanks this week. That's on the video. We've got all new fish in, salt and freshwater, and some amazing corals. That's coming on the video. Also some new stands and canopies and some things coming your way. So if you'll come inside, we can start the weekly update. Before we get too far in, this little guy has been sitting on the sidewalk this week. It's a used 65 that we've got. Now the cool thing about used tanks is this is a great way to get into some saltwater tanks if you're freshwater but don't want to spend a lot of money. If you're a saltwater customer and you want to have an extra tank, if you're a freshwater customer and just want to upgrade or have just another existing tank. The best way to do that sometimes is by getting used tanks. There's some amazing deals out there and Fishy Business always tries to have two or three on hand at any time. So we're going to start here. I want to show you a couple used tanks that have come in. This is a used 65. It's got a drilled cabinet. It's got a sump. It's cheap. 375 bucks. And it's got lights. So this is just one example of what we get. If you'll come with me, I want to show you two more that are really, really, really good. Red Sea 65. This tank was $1,800 when it was new. This is fantastic at 500 bucks. This is a great turnkey reef tank. Now it does have T5s, which are a little bit outdated lighting, but they still work fine, and you can always retrofit some LEDs in there. So Red Sea 65, we don't get these often. This is a really good buy. Over here, this is a tank that we never see. <clears throat> This is a half circle, it's an oceanic tank. This was outfitted as a saltwater tank. It's got a sump, return, and it's about, I think it's a 76 gallon, yeah, 76 gallon tank. So three used tanks that we got in this week. Um, moving forward, I wanna show you a couple of other things. Right here, we just got in, I'm sure you guys, if you've watched past videos, you've seen our coastal stand and canopy. It's actually, a beautiful, beautiful standing canopy that has a very beachy shiplap feel. Well, we've got them for the BioCube now. And we've actually made the trim large enough to put your martini or any other drink that you would like while you look at your amazing saltwater aquarium. This is a custom Fishy Business original, Chad LaRochelle designs, but a really, really cool way to outfit and look at your BioCube. New this week, we just got in these little tanks. Now, these are very inexpensive a little unicorn tank or a deep sea explorer. The reason I bother mentioning this is sooner or later you're going to have a niece, nephew, cousin, your son or daughter is going to have to go to a birthday party. If you want to give the gift to the kid that they're going to remember forever, this is a great way to start. It'll be the coolest gift that they get from a friend or relative, your very own deep sea explorer or sea unicorn. Great for like little betas or small fish great for maybe even some glowfish as you can see right around me we've got all of this glowfish paraphernalia we've also one of the things that I wanted to talk about too we've just started as of last night thanks to our fabulous film crew we have started a video of kind of a how-to video which we're going to feature once a week a kind of a different thing and this was one of the things that we focused on last night, which was a dry stack with live rock for a reef aquarium. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but that is another YouTube video that if you look one day before, you can actually see that. These are gonna be short 10 minute videos just going over basics of aquarium keeping, designs, and how to. So if you'll stay tuned, you've now got two videos coming at you a week just because of all the requests and things that you've said. And I'll take one more second just to say, any other suggestions you have, because we might not be able to fit it in the weekly update, we'll try to deliver that in some other form on YouTube or Facebook. So keep the, keep the questions coming. Anything that you wanna know that maybe you don't have an answer to, or you've gotten 50,000 answers from Google and you wanna know what Fishy Business thinks about it, run it past us. Send me a text, send me, you know, an email, anything like that, just shout out. I'll try to answer the questions as best I can. So now, let's go look at the fish.
So the main reason we started the video is to show you fish that came in every week. Obviously we can't show you every fish that comes in, but we can pick out a couple highlights that we think are worth mentioning. So we're going to start with freshwater and go to saltwater. So if you'll accompany me, let's go right here. Now, uh, a fish that is absolutely amazing. This was an amazing week for plecos. And I don't know how much you know or don't know about plecos, but plecos are your algae eating catfish that you always see stuck to the side of the walls. However, it is one of the most collected fish in terms of the varying styles, the beauty of them, how many different ones are out there in the wild. There are so many plecos with so many different body styles and designs that everybody loves to have them. So I want to show you some very special ones that came in this week. One of the ones is the blue phantom placostomus that you'll see right here. This blue phantom has this blue sheen that covers the whole fish. These are very small right now. I cannot remember a time when we had these. I've got two of them right now. They came in this week. Kevin did an excellent job picking out the Laura Carde catfish, and this is one we have. So if you'll come with me, I'd like to show you a couple other ones. I have an absolutely amazing Pecolita species came in today. This doesn't have an L number yet, it's so new. I don't know what to tell you about it. <laughs> it just came in. It's a brand new species. Come check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, oh yeah, the super blue geophagus. Geophagus are a great cichlid, a big heavily bodied cichlid that are non-aggressive that you can have in with a lot of your community type fish. Obviously not small neons, cardinals, things like that, but you can have it with some larger body tetras, uh, barbs, things like that. Those are fantastic. I have the largest gold nugget I can remember seeing right here. It's so big you can actually see it through me inside the tank. Gold Nugget Plecos, that big, can run every bit of 50 to 60 bucks. This guy is, is an incredible buy at his size. Very healthy, the girth is very big, large, beautiful, beautiful fish. I got a Vampire Plecostomus this week. Another really, really cool Pleco. I also got one other one I want to show you, if I could find it, which tank he came in. Oh, the Green Phantom Plecostomus. This fish, to me, it's the star of what we got in. Now, the gold nugget is impressive because of its size, and you don't typically get them that size. But this one right here, the green phantom, just the sheen of the yellow and green on his body is, just blows me away. This is a fantastic placostomus as well. So, rolling back around to the fresh water, we have the Sturbia Cori's. These are great, beautiful, beautiful little quarries that have little orange fins on the pectoral fins. They're small, they're community, they add a lot of pop, they're great for cleaning leftover food. All Corydoras are. They are typically a catfish that does not get very large, so they're, they're great in small tanks, they're great in large tanks in mass, and they're fantastic when it comes to eating leftover foods and things like that. So, absolutely fantastic fish there. Uh, we've got neons and cardinals back in this week. Tiger nearite snails, which are a great snail to have just because of the body style. A lot of times we don't get a lot of South Americans when they have a lot of color. Uh, it's tricky to get them because we usually get them very small or we get them very large when they outgrow someone's tank. But getting them at just the right size where they're really starting to show their colors is not a very common thing and I got them. So Green Terrors uh, came in today. I've got four or five of them and they are just now starting to show their colors. Phenomenal. One of my favorite species of fish is the rainbow fish. Now this is a river fish from Australia. It's a fish that gets somewhere around four inches or so at, at full growth. I've got emerald rainbows this week. I've got the Blair Eye rainbows. Actually, I've got a ton of tank of rainbows. These are great for planted aquaria. They're great for being busy. They're a mid-water to upper water fish. They, they will all school together with different colors. And this is a fish that colors up in really beautiful colors the larger that it gets. Rainbows, absolutely beautiful fish. So check those out for your planted tank. Now we're coming right this way. We haven't shown you very much in the way of South American cichlids recently but we got Oscars in this week that are, again, another South American at a really kind of nice size to introduce to your tank. 
if you like big fish, if you like fish that are long lived and that can be kind of personable, South Americans might be for you. Now they are an aggressive fish and you're certainly not going to be able to put any of those pretty fish I was just showing you with them. However, they will get along with other aggressive fish, especially if you have a large tank. The Salvinis came in this week looking really, really good. And I got some small aggressive Green Tears, Jack Dempsey's, and Fire Mouths. They haven't started to get their color yet, but they're small enough to where this is a good time to try to mix these fish. So that's a quick overview of freshwater this week. Now on to saltwater. Sometimes I like to start at the front of the saltwater section or the back and then work all the way around that way, but I wanted to start at this tank tonight. Guy, my partner, went shopping for fish. We are now hand-picking all of our saltwater fish. What this means to you is that you're getting a fish that we, after 30 to 40 years plus experience, are actually looking at and bringing in. And he went and actually hand-picked all the saltwater fish that I'm going to show you this week. The reason I'm starting here is he did this great simple tank of yellow tangs with just a couple large fish to break them up. So these we got in yesterday, they're all doing fantastic. It's cool to see a group of tangs like this in mass in a tank where they can just kind of run around and feed. Right behind you, we got in some gorgeous flame angels. Uh, Centropygae lauriculus is one of my favorite fish. This is a male. Uh, you can denote that the females have very small bars while the males have very large bars and, they're, and the males have very deep black on red color exchanges so that's, a, that's one way where the females have them a little, they're not quite as pronounced. This is a great reef fish. Every once in a while they'll pick at something but for the most part to have that much beauty swimming around you've got reds, you've got yellows and you've got purple on the tips of the fins. The flame angel is one of the most beautiful fish. So, we got that this week. We got a little trigger in there, the half moon. We got in tons of damsels again. We got in probably the nicest blue tangs I've ever seen just to get in a ship. Normally when we get them, they're very thin um, or gaunt. These, the girth is tremendous. I mean, the fish is that thick. And I have both of these blue hepatis, blue tangs, just absolutely gorgeous. Along with a striped puffer and this cute little guy right here, this porcupine puffer that's, because his lights are getting ready to go out, he's getting ready to rest for the night. But what a great fish. The amount of angels we're getting in now are more than we've had in a very, very long time. Uh, one of the coolest fish, the orangeback wrasse. I didn't know we had this salabrious wrasse. We usually keep them back there but we've got one right here. You want to talk about a showstopper of a reef fish? I've said it before, I'll say it every time. The Salabrius wrasses, the Parachelinius wrasses, anything like that for your reef tank, off the charts beautiful. Very compatible with other fish. We got a Lamarck Angel in this week, a Desjardini or the Red Sea Sailfin Tang. This can sometimes be good for eating algae. I think it is one of the best tangs to have in a tank if you're actually trying to keep algae under control. Two Harlequin Tusks, another Flame Angel, a French, a Cortez. We got a lot of stuff in, guys. One thing I want to show you, too, the guy brought back yesterday were some phenomenal corals. And there is one in particular that while it was sitting in the bag and I was 20 feet from it, it made a statement. And that's this guy right here. It's it's a head. It's a Duncan's coral that is this big. It's and it's just. I mean, it's just incredible. So if you look through here, you can see an infinite collection of new corals that just came in yesterday. This is something that we specialize in. This is something that he prides himself in having the best of. And if you got a reef tank, it's worth stopping by Fishy Business to take a look. Clams. We mentioned them last week. You can see them a little better this week because we've turned down the flow over them. But the absolute beautiful Tridacna maxima clams, gorgeous, gorgeous. Come with me to the back. Before we go into the fish, I've mentioned a lot about life rock. We got in the big boxes this week. This is just one piece of life rock, but what a beautiful bridge that would make in a tank, yeah? 
whether you used it that way, whether you used it that way, we've got much bigger pieces. We haven't offered these for sale yet, so these are brand new as well. So if you're trying to design a reef, you can't do better than Life Rock for the design. For the small reef tank, for the large reef tank, for the nano tank, yellow clown gobies are a favorite. It's a great little fish that will perch itself on the rock. Lots of personality, does not get very large. Beautiful, beautiful fish. The six line wrasse, and yes, we've got back in stock the Mandarin Dragonets, along with a host of wrasses, coral beauties, tons of Nisaria snails are back in. These are fantastic for sifting through your sand. There's not a lot of great things that can kind of keep the sand churned up, but a lot of Nisaria snails, a lot of sand sifting stars, which we have as well will actually do that job for you. It'll aerate the sand where algae tends to develop. It'll kind of churn it up a bit. A uh, really, really beautiful pink margin wrasse. And I've got, let's see, a green chorus wrasse. Green chorus wrasses are really, really cool. The yellow chorus wrasse I have as well. Both of these are fairly smaller wrasses, chorus wrasses that go well in a reef tank. One of the things that sometimes chorus wrasses do, and this is true of the twin spot, it's true of a lot of them, is they eat bristle worms. Not everyone does this, but a lot of them will do that. Cecil invertebrates and things like that, they can pick at. So if you have a situation where you have that, these might be the wrasse for you. Yeah, I mean, Kevin's got a plethora. Look at these extra large pool comments. I said we were done with freshwater, but it's so obvious from even where the camera is. If you've got a pond and you want to see your fish from across the yard, these might be for you. We've got a new coral display that guys just brought back from the show. He will be in Tennessee for a coral show, not this weekend, but next weekend. We will be in Raleigh for a future show, two weekends from that. There's a lot of things coming right now at Fishy Business. So, any questions, send them our way. We have got, oh, the one thing that I didn't mention, come with me. We're giving away a fish tank. As we did last month with the BioCube, we've got a Flex from Hagen that we're giving away with the stand. You hear me talk about all the shrimp tanks every week. I didn't talk about that this week, but the last thing that I was saving is if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you get entered in this contest. And I'll try not to trip while I show you what it is we're giving away. It's this Flex freshwater kit. I don't care whether you're saltwater or freshwater, wouldn't it be cool to have a really cool live planted species only tank with some shrimp or a small species of some kind of freshwater fish? The LED 7500K Flex might just be for you. So, giving it away, subscribe to our YouTube channel, get in the running, go to Facebook, you can, you can subscribe there. So, this is Chuck Mayer thanking you for once again tuning in for the weekly update. I hope that's given you a little bit of idea of what's going on here at Fishy Business and what's updated. There's a lot that I didn't show you, but there's a few highlights that I wanted to show you. So. Any questions, any thoughts, how we can make this better for you, please let us know. Please go to Facebook. You can enter for the competition for the Flex there or do it on YouTube by subscribing to Fishy Business SC. And please have a great week. We are Fishy Business.